Hey everybody, I honestly don't care how I look right now because you are finally going to get to see the um, mellow let go, well not let go of myself because that just sounds wrong, um, I'm not letting go of myself, this is just my settle down mode self, basically off duty mama self, no more kids bugging me type thing. Um, which I'm sure all of you other mothers on here can relate to and say that there is a period during the night where you have your pajamas on and you don't care what people say that you look bad, but whatever, I, I don't care. <laughs> um, it is currently almost nine o'clock and Allie is asleep, although her monitor I think is behind the, uh, Oh, no, her monitor's right here. Yeah, she's asleep. Finally, she went to sleep. Um, had a very rough day with her. She's been refusing to nap, so she gets really cranky, which isn't uh, very fun. Um, and I'm filming on my iPad right now, so it's going to be, like, this mode instead of, like, wide, because um, I can't film with it sideways because then you can't see me. So that'll look stupid. But anyways, um, haven't done an update in a, while, in a couple weeks. I am currently 32 weeks, one day, and it's been, today has been a very painful day for me. I've already called the midwife, and I talked to, I had to speak to a coverage midwife because my midwife was off call till 8, so I'm assuming that was just because she was delivering a baby or something, I don't know. But I see my, I have two midwives, so I meet my second midwife on Wednesday. So that should go good. Um, but today in particular, I called them because I said I was having some pretty bad back and front pain. Like, basically, to describe the pain, it felt like I'd been riding a horse all day. So my inner thighs hurt. Um, she told me, she said, that's just my body, like, preparing for um, labor. It's basically my hips spreading, like my pelvis is spreading. But it's very painful, and it's been hard for me to, like, function today. I can't bend over, because if I do, it hurts even more. Relaxing and trying to lay down. I can't get comfortable. I've been feeling like I've had to go number two all day, but I don't have to go, I guess, or I just can't go. I don't know. Um, so she said it could also possibly be a UTI, so she wants me to go and get checked for that. Um, which I don't like doing that because I can never produce the right amount of pee for them to use for a sample. So, yeah. Um, as you can see, I'm in my pajamas and whatever. And I'm very sore right now. Um, in terms of the pain, I've been in pain like almost every day. But it's bearable. Up until today, it's been bearable. So um, they just want me to keep an eye on it and just let them know if it changes, if it gets worse or anything like that. Um, she doesn't think I am in preterm labor. But I'm still going to have them check me on Wednesday just to see what's going on down there, if something's happening or what's causing the pain. In terms of his little man, he's currently sitting right here. Up here, he's got his knees over here. So he keeps moving like, shifting sides from bum to the side, bum to the side, because he's head down, so he can't turn. So it's kind of uncomfortable for that. And he seems to be most active when I'm trying to relax or I'm laying on my side. He does not like when I lay on my side. So he tries to, like, kick away, basically, like, move away. Um, I have to... I'm, I'm meeting with somebody on the weekend about a double stroller. I'm going to be getting a new, well, it's not new, it's used, because me and my mother-in-law were looking at prices online, and it's ridiculous for a brand new stroller, so I'm just going to get one used that's still in good condition, and that's still usable, so I'm supposed to go meet the woman on the weekend for that, and hopefully buy that. Um, it's just been a lot of stressful stuff going on, like the... Liberals have decided they're going to start jacking up hydro rates in Ontario, and 
our hydro bill was pretty expensive this month. Mind you, this was our final, like, bill cycle of the summer with the air conditioners in. So we had three air conditioners in and going. We had one in my room, and then the parents have one in their room, and then Nick has one in his room. So um, that would do it. So I'm kind of stressed out about that because they've decided now they're going to start charging monthly instead of bi-monthly. So, and on top of that, our gas prices are going to be going up too. So I was like, oh, okay, so I can't even enjoy hot showers anymore. That's just wonderful. Not really happy about that. But that's out of my control. I do help pay for the hydro when I'm able to, on top of my own things that I have to worry about. Um, I did, um, Michael upgraded his phone last week because he was just, he was bugging me and bugging me and bugging me um, that he wanted to get a new phone. So I said, fine, as long as you pay for it, you can do it because he's on my account. Like we have a tab type thing. So I let him upgrade his phone last week and he told me, he said when his is paid down that I could do mine. So I said, fine, that's, that's fine. Um, so I went today and unfortunately my phone was not in stock so it had to be ordered. So I won't have it for about two days. But I got the iPhone success. So I'm recording on my iPad right now. So hopefully that's... I don't know if that makes a difference. I know it probably makes a difference in between recording on my S6. For sure. But I don't know. I just really like iOS 10 and just decided to go the rate of... Apple again, which I know that's not going to last because I switch between Apple and Android like all the time. Um, I'd show you my bump, but as you can pretty much see it as it is, I'm just trying to stay as comfortable as possible, so I'm not going to stand up and show you like I usually would. But, yeah. Allie's been giving me like a really hard time lately. She knows the changes that are coming, and she's trying to get as much one-to-one -one time with me as possible. So that's why she's not sleeping as much and she's being picky with eating and wants constant mummy time, which is fine. I don't mind spending time with my daughter. It's not a bad thing. So, um, and I also too, um, I'll show you the picture. Actually, I took a picture on Instagram the other day. Excuse me. Um, <sighs> I am producing a huge amount of pre-milk, like the colostrum that you get. And I explained to my midwife that the pressure has been getting very intense and I need to do something about it. So she told me, okay, fine, you can start if you want to store it. So that's my stash in the freezer so far. I have a full like shelf of syringes, full, like five ounces, 10 ounces, well, not 10, no, not ounce, sorry, milliliters, yeah, like 5 milliliters, 10 milliliters, so yeah, that's my stash of milk, and because I've still been producing so much, I've had to start putting it in Allie's milk, giving it to Allie, because I'm running it from the freezer, and we have a new um, fridge coming Wednesday, so I'm going to have to, like, put those somewhere else for the day so they don't all thaw and go bad. So I'm going to have to like find somewhere to stick them. But And I'm sick. Again. Um, I caught Allie's viral infection, whatever it is. Except now it's gotten to the point that me, I have to take puffers for it. Because it's very uh, like my cough. I have a really bad cough from it. So it's that's Nick coughing in the background. <laughs> Now he's getting sick. Everybody is getting this virus that's going through my house right now. Everybody's catching it. And it's not fun. But yeah. Um, so I just figured I'd just come on here and give you guys a quick update on what's going on and everything like that. Um, and I will be back to film some more videos in the future. Obviously. Like, I'm going to keep you guys updated on everything. And I'll let you guys know what the midwife says Wednesday and yada, yada, yada. So... Anyways, I'm going to go relax and watch um, my show until Mikey gets home, which should be in the next 45 minutes or so, because it's 9 o'clock now. So i got to try and finish up the series I'm watching before the new season starts in December. So I'm watching, um, currently, I'm watching Nashville on Netflix. 
fun the last season of that, and then season five starts in December, and then season ten, yeah, was it season ten? Yeah, season ten of Heartland started last night, and it was really good. It was a very emotional first episode, which I'm not going to say what happened because I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't, like, caught up to the last season, because the last season was when it was announced. So, and, (coughs) excuse me, I'm also following Once Upon a Time, and that was last night too, so last night's episode was, it picked up, it was a little better, so, but yeah, so, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you guys all in my next video, hopefully I don't fall off the face of the earth before then, or go crazy, although I've been feeling pretty bad, so. And um, let me know how everything sounds, because I'm probably going to be using my iPad for most of my at-home vlogs anyways. So, yeah, I'll see you guys all soon. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.